Good evening and welcome. On behalf of the Olive Branch Interfaith Peace Partnership, my role and our role is the, uh, the role of hospitality of welcoming you. As tightly as we're packed, I wonder if there is a possibility that you could scoot a bit in many pews and raise your hand if there's one more seat, because there is a crowd going out. If you'll walk forward and take those seats when they're made, come on into the house. And while they're walking in, raise your hand if there's a place in the pew that they can join your ears. Well, they're coming in, whenever a crowd is gathered like this, we would normally say, please, turn off your cell phones. But maybe they'll just add to the music tonight. <laughs> This evening began, as all things do, as a, a seed in someone's mind and spirit. But when we gathered in April to reflect on an event in Washington created by the Olive Branch in March, we recognized already that this night would represent a wonderful juncture between our national celebration or observance of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and the inauguration, whoever was elected. And Rabbi Arthur Roscow, out of a relationship called Abraham's, the Tent of Abraham, Sarah and Hagar, said, why don't we convene a celebration of that moment? From a fruit of a dozen seeds, the steering committee of the Olive Branch Interfaith Peace Partnership, we now have an orchard of individuals and organizations gathered here by the hundreds. Every seed of every plant a life force, just as each of us all trace our being to a single being, a single life force. The olive branch is most often seen as the twig in the mouth of the dove, searching for a safe haven after flood. In some ways, from my experience with this event, it's like the proverbial horse designed by a committee. It's a camel of sorts. And uh, we're on a journey. The journey led by the camel puts us in many ways in the place of the Middle East. Part of the long and humble tradition of pilgrimage to peaceful places part of a tradition and an ongoing effort to develop trust, practice hospitality, and come to know the other in love and respect. We have trusted in the spirit and one another in creating this evening together. We have enjoyed the hospitality of our host at All Souls and the Unitarian Universalist Association. And we are now seated in close company but in the company of strangers, of the other, who we know in our hearts are us. I want to just say thank you because this is the one point in the service where that is possible to the members of the steering committee of the Olive Branch and to David Hart, who has been our Washington heartbeat in the logistics of this event. Danny Kelly, who we seem like the deep investment put in a number of hours. I also want to say thank you to All Souls in making the reception hall available to us following the service. Here's Hall, where 40 or 50 organizations dedicated to peace and social justice have set up tables and will welcome you in fellowship and conversation when we're done. We will do no introductions of individuals or of segments you have a program. Our speakers will simply come in small ways to this podium to offer their part of the program. But it is a wonderful gift that they give us and that we share together tonight. It's a wonderful place and time to be. So on behalf of our Grand Interfaith Peace Partnership, I thank you all for being with us this evening. Welcome from the tradition. 